What's up, everybody? Welcome to the K1 Agenda, episode 71. It's uh, September 10th, 2021. And I want to start off on a, um, on a somber note. Um, I just found out from my, my oldest daughter, Keisha, um, four days ago on uh, Labor Day that um, uh, one of her best friends, Natasha Brown, passed away. Um, how she was tied to me. Um, a couple of years ago, we did the uh, electronic um, portrait of electronic band documentary, and we needed to have some promo pictures for um, the the watch that was coming out, and also the promotional T-shirts. Um, we met we met Natasha through Keisha, which is my daughter, my oldest daughter, who um, got her to do a photo shoot for us. Um, she's just. Four days before September 10th, she didn't even make it to her uh, 30th birthday, um, Natasha Brown, I want to send a special shout out to some pictures of Natasha doing the promotional uh, photos that we took and stuff. And I just want to say, um, man, just give people their flowers while they're here. She passed away so young at 29, didn't make it to her 30th birthday. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lady, man. Um, very good friends with my daughter. I didn't really know her that well, I have to be honest, but you know, I did try to keep up with her progress and go to her page and stuff and, and keep up with her even before I found out that she was sick. Um, I just want to say thank you, Natasha, for what you did for us, took, taking the time out to take those beautiful pictures. Such a beautiful African princess, man. Um, I want to send condolences to um, her family and also to my daughter and anybody else who knew Natasha Brown. Beautiful young lady, and I want to say, um, just enjoy your time while you're here and, and give people their flowers while they're here. And once again, Natasha Brown, we miss you. And um, I wish I could have got a chance to know you a little bit better. And um, just seem like such a beautiful, sweet girl. Um, rest in heaven. Um, we're gonna move. We're gonna move on to a different, uh, some different messages this week. I'm a little thrown off. Um, that one really got to me when my daughter sent me the message and told me that she passed away. Um, I want to speak on the new Optic Nerve t-shirt um, that went up, which is uh, from the album um, Uncharted that's on Axis Records. You can uh, pick up this t-shirt 35% um, off um, on the dates, following, dates listed below, which is September 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. No, not 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. No, it would be now. September 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, and 27th. That is the Optic Nerve Uncharted t-shirt. You can get that t-shirt in hoodies, t-shirts, cups, pillows, whatever, and every other t-shirt that's on the site is available for 35% off with those all dates that I um, mentioned and listed, um, you'll see right here. Um, I just want to speak on the t-shirts too. And I get a lot of messages from people asking me, where's the link and where do you get to it? Um, the links are always listed below all these videos. And also, um, you know, just go into the site and you know, you, you, you kick on, you click on my uh, puzzle box page and you can get all the information for all the t-shirts up from, from small up to uh, six X. So know that it's not expensive. It's not expensive as far as, um, your countries because a lot of these products come directly from that country so feel free to go out there and support me and um, all the things that I've done and all the projects that I've been a part of and all the artwork that I've done so thank you guys and once again this is a somber week I'm, 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 a, I'm a try to just uh, I'm kind of winging it today um, 
I thought about not doing one because I just just didn't feel like doing this. But we're gonna make we're gonna go through it anyway. Um, I also want to say I, I mentioned last week I have one last outdoor project coming up, and that is uh, the painting of my deck before it gets uh, reassembled and uh, rebuilt. It's gonna be changed. Um, still waiting on uh, Mr. Allen to uh, let me know when he's uh, ready to do it because he has surgery on his foot and he wasn't able to do it uh, over the summer. But that's okay. I'm going to try to make it easier by getting it painted for him beforehand. And, um, you know, um, we'll try to enjoy it next year, but I want to get it um, done before the year is out. That'll be my last project, and then I'll spend all my time will be um, geared to definitely working out and also working out inside and in the studio. Um, wanted to also speak once again. Um, I've, I've actually had some uh, interest um, in some some live dates and DJ dates dates for 2021, and I'm like, no, I'm not going to do this until 2022. So, if you're interested in booking uh, Optic Nerve, which I'll be getting that show ready, as well as maybe some uh, Alien FM shows, and also my DJ K1 sets, please email Daniel at ConnectBookings.com. Once again, that's Daniel at connectbookings.com. He handles all my booking. So uh, feel free to get in touch with him related to uh, all my booking, which he's a very good booking agent. He used to book uh, the late, great Mike Huckleby. Um, I wanted to speak on, uh, I've been trying to keep keep everybody abreast of all the um, pressings and everything. Once again, I have to say, uh, sadly, I'm still waiting on um, the repressings for the uh, PBX32 um, K1 and Doppler effect. I'm waiting on the new pressings with color vinyl to be um, pressed by Archer, and um, it's just it's just a process, man. It's just um, it's other artists just getting stuff done. It's probably a, a really busy time, so I have to wait uh, also before I get the rest of the stuff pressed as well, because I'm, I'm uh, we're really out of a lot of stock, so. Uh, I could speak on what's what's the latest and greatest right now. We have um, my remix for uh, Microthaw, which is called Binary System, which is a remix between me, um, the Exaltics, and DJ Stingray. So you have to pick that up. Once again, it's called Binary System, and that's on the Trust record labels. Thank you. Puzzle Box Records news this week. Um, I just want to let you know that we are um, completely sold out once again of PBX3 Face Your Fake, which is me and Black Tony. Also, PBX 8.5 Electropathics EP uh, repressing is sold out, which we're waiting on once again Archer to uh, to uh, repress the, those so we can uh, sell those. Also, um, if you want to get it, pick up any new music of mine, you know the Robotics EP is out, which is on Mechatronica, which is me, myself, DJ Digital, and Anthony Rother from um, Frankfurt, Germany. That's a great EP, great electro release that I think uh, a lot of people will dig because it's three different styles on there. Um, get ready for the uh, collaboration between me and the Slam DJs, which is uh, Machine Conflict, coming very soon. Um, I've just advertised um, the info for the um, for the re release on my Facebook for Facebook page. Uh, Electro Ghetto Tech EP DJ Godfather. You can pick that up. Still still available now, which is on his database records, uh, which is distributed by Clone Records. That's uh, Electro Ghetto Tech with me and DJ Godfather. So you definitely can pick that up. Also, know that you can still pick up. Far Away, which is my Optic Nerve EP on Soma, uh, with uh, the great artwork from Kyle Irving, which um, showcases the uh, the motion comic that's uh, created to uh, show the origins of uh, Optic Nerve. Also, pick up Uncharted, the LP, that's my uh, latest Optic Nerve LP on Jeff Mills, Axis Records, which is uh, the, the Escape Velocity uh, series released on his Axis Records. So you can pick that up. That's uh, one of my um, my um, favorite releases that I really think I did a good job and told a good story on the origins of uh, Optic Nerve. It's a great story and also it has the great artwork of Kyle Irving. So please pick that up. 
the latest release on Puzzle Box is Strand Meets Optic Nerve, and that's PBX 33. We still have just a few left, and you can pick that up. Um, like I said, in the coming weeks, I will be having, I said this last week, I will be having um, more info um, coming on the sites to show you uh, all the stores that carry all my stuff uh, for, uh, for each country. Um, repressed in this stock is also PBX 29, which is Modular World. That's the K1 EP. As you can tell, I'm outside filming. Here's some cars coming by. Uh, PBX 30, monochromatic images, Alien F film with me and Black Tony. Still available and repressed. PBX 31 with Tom Tom and me for AUX 88 presents Mad Scientist, and the EP is entitled voice modulation pick that up so um i hope to have more news for you maybe next week on the presses maybe we'll get those presses in and then i can release a, a big newsletter and a big uh news junket on all the um on social media so that you can pick up all the music and know where to get it at because um i'm, I'm out of stock so hopefully we'll have some uh, more information on that next week thanks Everybody, listen, 35% off at least two to three times a month on all this product. Like I said, T-shirts, mugs, coffee mugs, cups, pillows, tapestry, hoodies, baseball shirts, short sleeve shirts, um, phone cases. Man, you can get so much and it has all the designs for all the logos that I've done over all these years, and I have more coming. And keep in mind, you can get this shipped pretty much from your own country. So you're going to save on shipping. Pick the stuff up now. Go get it. K1 out. Question of the week. Question of the week. What was some of your first studio scents? And once again, everybody, if you want to send any messages uh, to ask me about any questions or anything you may have, you can hear my, my wife's wind chime in the background. Once again, I just want to say, if you have any questions, you can always email puzzlebox at puzzleboxrecords.com. And once again, the question is, what was some of your first studio synths or any other instruments? I can tell you right now, my very first synth that I purchased was the Casio CZ-101. Tommy had them and he had a CZ-1000 and I ended up buying me one as well. And that um, is a picture of this. It's, uh, it's, it's, it looks like a little toy band, but it was a powerful synthesizer, a great one to start off on. And then I also had, um, I bought a Juno 106 um, from Roland, which is a vintage um, analog keyboard. And then I also had a, the Kawhi R100 drum machine, which I did a lot of triggering on to trigger uh, keyboard sounds because I didn't have a sequencer at first and also doing the drums. So great question. I love answering all these questions. And lit anybody, if you have any questions, please email puzzlebox at puzzleboxrecords.com. Thank you. old pick old video um this week i want to put up some pictures here's, here's some pictures of um just some vintage pics pics from me from my various studios over the years um i've had man let me think um one two i probably had about seven different seven maybe eight different studios in different locations i've had lofts downtown i've had office buildings in southfield michigan uh, i had a, a completely a, a complete building um, and um, on Gratiot in um, East Detroit near 8 Mile. Um, also built a studio in my uh, my mother's home upstairs from my mother. I used to live upstairs from my parents. I had a house upstairs from my parents. Um, knocked some walls out and built that, that studio and everything. And um, yeah, just some vintage pictures of uh, some of my old studios, man. Um, and also, I want to also put you up on the, the video this week. Once again, it comes from the Portrait of Electronic Band. Um, documentary that we did 
this piece um, I'm proud of because um, I, I, it really wasn't my concept. It was Tommy's concept to come up with uh, AUX88 Presents Black Tokyo. But it was my concept for the whole look of it uh, with, uh, with the armbands and wearing the black. And um, I did all the vocals. Uh, I wrote all the vocals for everything that we did uh, for the album. Uh, also along with the two young ladies that we had. Eric and Ice Truck, who were in Black Tokyo. And I also did a lot of my own um, tracks on, on here as well. I don't think we really was too much collaboration. There never really was you no know, collaboration between me and Tom. He did his tracks and I did mine. And then I did um, stuff with the girls as far as writing the vocals. But check this out. I think the Black Tokyo sound is actually still developing and there is still a lot of room to explore to see what it could become. The Black Tokyo sound was uh, really created by Tom in an airport. We were, uh, I think we were waiting to go play somewhere and uh, we were just trying to come up with some different concepts of some other things we wanted to do and he came up with this idea of Black Tokyo, merging the two cultures together. Uh, the concept itself is about merging Japanese culture with Detroit techno and uh, electronic music culture. Um, you know, we like the way the Japanese do things with like clean and cut, precise, and just, you know, uh, minimal. Tom and Keith um, came to London um, after confirmation um, that I was going to contribute to the Black Tokyo Project as a visualist and vocalist. Um, they came to London for the first Black Tokyo gig at uh, the Fabric Nightclub in Farringdon, and it was it was like a spaceship had landed in my life. Um, or in London, um, and two aliens got off the ship and walked into the warehouse where I was living in at the time, in Seven Sisters, um, and they basically just came in and sat down at my kitchen table and um, faced my projector screen, which was my wall, and I uh, played videos or I VJ'd for them um, and played music off of my iPod. Um, and uh, then we went for a fish and chip down the mountain. Um, they were really um, just the most polite house guests you can have in your house um, and really just two of um, the nicest, most genuine people that you could meet in the music business. Um, not just the music business, but um, overall in general. Uh, actually, after a few listens, um, I started hearing that, you know, my impromptu off-the-cuff vocals against this Detroit techno um, had a really interesting musical quality to it, um, having this, uh, these quirky Japanese vocal elements against this harder techno sound. It's something um, that you don't normally hear, and I think it definitely set the stage for something that could be explored and experimented further. I met Ox88 when a friend of mine from Glasgow, Scotland told me that he saw a Facebook posting that Ox88 were looking for a few Japanese-speaking vocalists for their new Black Tokyo project. So I emailed them and sent them some links to my music. 
and within a day they got back to me uh, I was talking to them on the phone and they were telling me that they were interested and that they wanted to test me out Precise and just, you know, uh, minimal. Tom, Tom is, um, is, is actually quite shy and um, soft spoken, and yet he's an absolute beast on stage. Working with Ox88 on Black Tokyo has been a great experience. Um, I've learned a lot and grown from it. Is, uh, is very focused. Um, he does not like when something is not right. Um, they're, they're very, they're both very genuine, um, serious people. Mm. But it sounds good and looks good. Two beautiful ladies are uh, Erica and Aisha. That's actually a huge world that you can create. And I think for the first album, we just touched the surface of what it could be. I think it was a good introduction to the concept. And I think it also mirrored the process of Ox88, Erica, and I um, getting to know each other. I think we're now more familiar with each other's energy, creative processes. We're all just in a different place now from when we made the first album. I think we each have some ideas of what we want to do with this project. I know for me musically, I'd like to contribute more in my songwriting skills in the future. My role has been as part of um, the Black Tokyo Project uh, to provide vocals alongside Ice Truck, and together we make up Black Tokyo. Um, I also contribute as VJ and video editor, um, the whole visual side of Black Tokyo Project um, and the live shows. One of my favorites off the album was uh, Tokyo Telecom. I could uh, did you hear a little bit of that. Um, we've always liked using um, techno-aesthetic, which you will hear on um, the arts, which uh, is the art alone. I truck on vocals. Hear my voice. Hear my tone. Tell me on my mobile phone. Telecom. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that was just a, um, some information on the uh, AUX88 Presents Black Tokyo, which was a great project that um, that was one of the few times uh, that Tommy came up with the concept, which I really liked that concept. It was it was a fusion between Detroit techno and, 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 and Japan, you know, the, the cultures and also the various styles where we uh, we took and went more um, went more. Um, melodic with the music more beautiful strings and everything and um i i think i did some of my some of my best work was done on there where i i did some stuff that was along the lines of craft work with a lot of the tracks that i did like um uh, japanese telecom um what was another one uh uh komoto station um but that was a fun project and i really enjoyed putting together the whole uh, look for that and it was, it was great and I want to send a special shout out to my aunt Claudie who actually um, Created the armbands for us to have velcro that we wore when we did live shows and she did a great job I asked her to do that and she sent those and did it with no problem. Shout out aunt Claudie. Love you Shout outs this week. Of course, I want to say, look, I know people know the internet is a very big place. Very big place. This is my brother again, Mark Antonio Tucker. His middle name is Antonio. Everybody called him Tony. His name is Mark Tucker. Look, people, if you know my brother, if you've ever seen him, if you've seen him recently in a couple of years, man, please tell him to get in, in contact with me. Um, Puzzlebox at PuzzleboxRecords.com. I'm going to keep this up every week because I truly believe that the internet is just that strong and just that powerful that we can find my brother. So thank you guys, please take a look and um, see what you can do. If you if you've met him or you know anyone who knows him, please get in contact with me through social media or my email, puzzlebox at puzzleboxrecords.com. Thank you. Um, I wanna put up a picture. Uh, I just found this the other day and I thought it was so cute. It's one of my favorite pictures, but I found it because I, I keep everything. This is a picture of my wife as a as a child, man. I love this picture, man, because she she looks so innocent. She's such a cutie, and this is one of my favorite pictures. This is Belinda, her her, her maiden name is but uh, Mays, but this is Belinda Mays, and now her name is Belinda Mays Tucker. This is my uh, my wife. I love her to death. I've been knowing Belinda since uh, sixth grade, since sixth grade, since middle school. Been knowing each other that long, and um, on that note, I want to say a special shout out to my mother and father. Love you guys. I know you, you're keeping up with everything. You're watching this video. Shouts out. Love you guys. And like I say every week, I know what I've done. I know what I'm going to be doing. And I know what um, will be done in the future. So people know that I have so many things still planned. And um, your um, undying um, support for me and the great messages and negative messages as well. Um, just keeps me pumped up and um, I, I'm appreciative. I really am. I appreciate all the support I get. So I will see you on the next episode. And once again, thank you everybody for your support. And please um, pray for Natasha Brown's family, man. That was uh, She was a beautiful young lady and uh, I had a pleasure of having the chance to meet her and work with her. And I really appreciate that. Love you and Natasha Brown. Hey, I just want to say, everyone, please hit that subscribe button for YouTube and please subscribe to my page. Um, I really have enjoyed all the support I've been getting, bro. Hey, like this and subscribe to this page. Keep touching K1. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you.